Hey guys, this is SourceFed Nerd, and I'm Steve Zaragoza, and we're back from Comic-Con. Because San Diego Comic-Con is only four days, and it's impossible to see and experience everything that happens all around the convention, what follows is a quick rundown of some of the notable things we missed. So let's get to it. First up, most of the cast of Brian Singer's X-Men Days of Future Past showed up. That's the sequel to X-Men First Class, the one that just came up, not the X-Men 1 with Hugh Jackman in it. I know. And not X-Men Wolverine, because that's the other one with Hugh Jackman in it. The, the first one is X-Men. Also, there's another Wolverine coming out. What is that one called? Wolverine in Japan? Wolverine goes Hawaiian? Among all that footage and awesome shit, the idea of a Deadpool movie was brought up by a fan in the audience, which Singer replied, quote, he's not in this particular movie, but anything's possible. What does that mean, Brian Singer? Could we see Deadpool? Do you not want to say anything because you could potentially ruin the end credits scene? I'm not saying that there is a Deadpool moment at the end credits, but that'd be pretty cool. Joss Whedon also took the Hall H stage, ending the Marvel panel with huge news about the Avengers sequel titled Avengers Age of Ultron. Not Voltron, Ultron. Whedon went on record saying that the film will not be based on the comic book series of the same name, but will obviously feature the notorious Marvel artificially intelligent villain, Ultron. And apparently Thanos, who we all originally thought would be the main villain in the next Avengers film, is now speculated to be the villain in Guardians of the Galaxy instead. Which also made an appearance at Khan with cast and awesome concept art, like this one. Yep, that's a raccoon. Yep, he's CG. Yep, he's gonna be awesome, probably. And with all these Marvel movies existing in the same universe and crossing over, it really wouldn't surprise me if Thanos showed up in any Two anyway. A2 is Avengers 2. I know it's called the Age of Ultron, but I'm calling it A2 right now. I don't think anybody else has. I'm coining it. Hashtag Steve Zaragoza said A2 on SourceFedNerd.com. And last but not least, Warner Brothers dropped some big bombs with news that DC, Flash, and Justice League movies are coming in 2016 and 2017, respectively, finally. But arguably the biggest news to come out of San Diego Comic-Con is the Man of Steel sequel, which will be a Superman, Batman-centric movie, which has been said will be very, very, if not totally not, loosely based on Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns comic. And it's very loosely probably not based on that. But someone liked to say that it has part of the Dark Knight Returns story in it. And mostly because Batman and Superman are involved in some sort of conflict and they, they don't like each other and they're being angry, which happens in the comics a lot. Batman and Superman are constantly like, I'm in charge, no, I'm in charge. Fuck you, I'm strong. And then, then there goes Batman. Among Henry Cavill returning as Superman in the sequel will be Amy Adams, Lawrence Fishburne, and Diane Lane reprising their roles. With zero word or even speculation on who will play the new Batman. My money's on Joseph Gordon-Levitt, but who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it'll be George Clooney. Which brings us to the question of the video, which is who do you think should play Batman in this new Superman Batman movie? Let us know in the comments down below, and please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Obviously, Batman can outsmart Superman because Superman's an alien. Batman's a, Batman's a smart detective. Martian Manhunter's an alien. Yeah, but Martian Manhunter does not... 